Thanks, Dean. Thank you. Hi, Christine. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Thanks for having me on. Oh, well, thanks for talking to us. This is Christine from Park City Television. I'm here with Chef George Duran talking about Fourth of July grilling tips. So let's get right into it. What kind of tips do you have for us? Well, it's going to be a hot summer, but you got to stay cool and add some color to your Fourth of July barbecue with Smirnoff Ice Red, White & Berry flavored malt beverage. It's perfect in the bottle or can or in this festive punch or use Smirnoff's Red, White & Berry limited edition spirit to make the America Mule with cherry, blue, raspberry and citrus flavor combinations. Both of these drinks are so refreshing. In fact, you can also add Smirnoff 21 vodka to freshly brewed green tea to make my infamous green tea martini. This Capresso iced tea maker makes up to 80 ounces of your favorite tea in as little as 10 minutes and custom brews using this gorgeous glass pitcher. You can adjust from mild to strong with Capresso's flavor enhancer and it works with tea bags or use a removable permanent filter for loose tea. Now for the main course, I've cooked up these herb chicken kebabs or try my mouth-watering pineapple chicken salsa. They, the key to both of these dishes is a fresh, flavorful chicken. Just Bear Chicken has natural and organic varieties with no antibiotics ever, no added hormones, no animal byproducts, and no artificial additives. All right, we got to start talking about cheese. I'm using Jarlsberg with its mild, nutty, and mellow flavors to make my exclusive burgers. This is the marvelous meltdown with ooey, gooey Jarlsberg cheese fondue all over it. How about my melted Maui Madness? It uses grilled pineapples for buns for a sweet and low-carb burger. Now, starting July 2nd, head to Jarlsberg.com to get all my recipes to enter their sizzling summer burger contest to win a grill kit and even a big green egg grill. Now, if you're looking to complement your summer recipes with a great snack, you got to try pop chips. My favorite flavors are spicy, zesty jalapeno cheddar and sea salt. Plus, they have a bigger crunch line of ridges with buffalo ranch, tangy barbecue, and my son's favorite, cheddar and sour cream. The best part is that they're never fried and have half the fat of regular chips so you can eat well and feel good all summer long. And we can't forget about the sweet stuff. you got to remember about dessert. You know, we have Hostess Bakery Petite Cakes and Delights and Crispy Thins here. And these cake delights are white fudge vanilla cake balls. And the chocolate brownie crispy thins are the first thin crispy cookie to hit the baked goods aisle. Hostess Bakery Petites have no artificial flavors, colors, or high fructose corn syrup. And, of course, they're baked in the USA. And there you have it, a full 4th of July barbecue ready to have fun. Wow, yes, we are ready. I am so impressed. So you have America Mule, is that what you called it? Well, it's called America Mule. It's a really <laughs> special drink. It has a splash of lemon inside of it. It is fantastic. And tell me a little more about the grilled pineapple with the bun. I think that's great. Yeah, you know, pineapple marries so well with some meats, particularly burgers and even chicken. It's so interesting to make the salsa and have a quality chicken like bear chicken. And to make you ma marry it together, oh, I'm telling you, even if you make something spicy, pineapple just gives you that nice mellow uh, kind of alternative and kind of puts it right on top, like a nice little salsa. Oh, yum. I'm going to start shopping for 4th of July now. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about yourself. Where are you from and when did you start cooking? That's a very good question, actually. I have been cooking all my life, even the moment I was born. There was so much food in our house, you won't believe it. So I grew up with Armenian parents in Venezuela, and I moved to the United States when I was 15 years old. So you can imagine there were many types of cuisines growing up. I got my culinary degree in France came here and I started putting some of my favorite comfort foods together and this is kind of what I come up with. So I like to um, to experiment a lot and actually uh, you know push people to start cooking at home especially when they have new different flavors on their menus. Oh absolutely yeah well I'm, I'm excited to check this out and get going on these recipes. Thanks so much Chef George Duran for joining us. It's been a pleasure talking to you and have a great 4th of July. Thank you so much. All these recipes by the way you can find at dailylounge.com. Happy 4th of July. Great. DailyLounge.com. We'll check it out. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye.